this good guys today i'm going to be showing you how you can install Picasa in 2024 still and this is only for windows so if you don't know Picasa is a retired google product which used to basically be google photos um so now it is google photos and Picasa is no longer supported unfortunately so if you want Picasa in 2024 this is how you do it I'm gonna put the link down in the description for this but you can just search Picasa download and it's the one from download it so click on this it's free because it was originally free this is just an archive version which is basically someone took all the files and uploaded it so go ahead and click on free download close the ad in the top right there and then go ahead and click on the start download button and minimize this ad don't click on any of the ads or anything or anything like that that's not what you're actually downloading and don't download opera gx you don't want that go ahead and just click no thanks i'll continue downloading picasa and then it's going to start downloading the exe for you so give that a couple seconds what the hell give that a couple seconds if it doesn't start you can press click here to try again and like i said i'll put the link down in the description for this go ahead and click on open wait for it to come press on yes as you can see now we are in the wizard click I agree if you want to change the folder you can change the folder I'm just going to leave it as is hit install it's going to install Picasa for you now this is the latest version of Picasa that there was give that a couple seconds it's not going to take very long and you don't need a Google account you don't need to sign in or anything it's all on your PC so it has nothing to do with Google or anything uh, if you want to have a shortcut on your desktop press that if you want one for your quick launch you can have that if you want it to run afterwards and this doesn't really matter because they're not getting any stats so just unclick or click I'm just gonna leave I don't really care press on finish it's gonna then load up Picasa for you and now we are in Picasa so it'll give you this menu here you can have a look at if you have a bunch of photos on your computer I would not recommend doing this now uh, if you have time then go ahead and do this and if you do this one you can select a specific one I'm just gonna go ahead and press search my whole computer and go ahead and click continue oh uh, if you want to use it then you can I'm not going to I'm gonna keep it as Windows Media Player I just prefer that to be honest go ahead and press finish and yeah you can still do the Google Photos backup I'm pretty sure I think you can still do this uh, you can sign in with your Google account if you want uh, just for this we're gonna click on let's see what happens if we press yes on this okay so it just okay so it just gives us a link to this I don't know that and then it opens this up it's just that explaining that because it's retired it doesn't matter just click on no thanks uh, as you can see here I have all my pictures now in Picasa and this is your template things uh, so yeah you can see here I have now got all my pictures on Picasa so if you want to click sign in with Google does this still work as a question okay so you can't sign in with Google anymore guys yeah you cannot sign on Google anymore so this is just on your PC it's not synced to the web or anything 
um, yeah. So if you're familiar with Picasso, you'll remember how to use it. And then you see up top here we have our selection menu. We can you can have a look through that. Picasso is just a better Windows Media Center, basically, sort of. And this back in the day was the best of the best. I don't actually know why Google retired it. You know, they could have just called it Picasa and left it as the desktop Google Photos application and updated it a bit. Like, I don't really understand, but if we click, is this, can we, okay, no, you cannot, yes, so this is just on your PC. You can share your photos around and stuff as well, just nothing to do with Google because the servers are shut down. You could import your stuff, you can capture stuff from your webcam, you can have a couple options up here, you have all your stuff on the side here, which is all your folders and stuff. You can see your couple pics here as well. I have no idea what that is. It's probably just one of the default guides. And this is only for Windows. I don't think there was ever a Mac version for Picasa. I'm not sure. Uh, but this will work on. I think XP it will work as well. I think so. Uh, as you can see, I'm running Windows 7. It'll work on anything. Vista probably as well, I don't know. So if you wanted to know how you can still get Picasa downloaded, this is how you do it. It's 100% safe and free download. Anyways, make sure you guys drop a like on the video, make sure to subscribe to the Smarty Bytes channel. If you're having any issues with the installation for some reason, you can leave a comment down below in the description. I'll put the link as well. And anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out for now.